invoice here. That's the invoice. If I clicked on it, it would go to the invoice. We're going to pay the full amount out. What's this going to do when we pay it? Well, it's you want to first think accounts receivables going down. That's what because this form is linked to the accounts receivable. The other side is going to go into a cash account, either the checking account or the clearing account. In our case, the clearing account. Let's save it and close it and then we'll check it out and then we'll go to the balance sheet over here. We will run it once again. And if we go into checking out the checking, going into the checking to check out the checking, we could see that we have the deposit down here. Uh, wait a sec. Is that uh, what we just did? I can't. Uh, no, 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 no. Back. We're not going into the checking account. We didn't put it in the checking account. We put it in the clearing account. Get your head in the game. For crying out loud all right i'm a little tired today it's it's sunday i mean payments to deposit so there it is there's a payment so so there it is that's the one all right let's go back the other side is a reduction to the ar the r account the pirate account r and so we're going to go down and say that we've got uh the the payment there looks good let's go back we also have the subledger account, which should still tie out. So if I go to the subledger on the right, I run it again. Anderson disappears because Anderson does not have an outstanding balance. We're at 4320750. That should still tie out to what's on the balance sheet. 4320750. If I go to the first tab then and look at all the sales transactions, then the open transactions, it has now disappeared. If I go to the paid transactions, that's where it still lives. And you can see it's paid and everything there. If we do that on the invoice side, we can check it internally there. So if, if we had to communicate with the customers, we could say we're currently looking at the unpaid. This one was paid. Boom. Uh, Andersons. There's the Andersons. Let's go to the customer. We can look at it in the customers. And this one is not open anymore but has been recently been paid so i could use that filter and then here's anderson let's go into anderson here and we could see the payments have been made so that payment was for if i go into that payment it gives us the detail on the right i'm going to close that and then if i edit it or view it on the left or on the right that was there's the invoice invoice 1001 i can link to that invoice if i close it out and open the invoice this way or if i just click on the invoice you can see what has happened it was open it's been paid it has not yet been deposited if i was to edit the invoice we could see it that way tom bien as well and so we see it that way as well muy bien very nice Muy super cool bien. I'm, I'm practicing my Spanglish with the Spanish and English. Muy super nice bien. Okay, uh, then next. All right, let's do another one. I'm going to go back to the customers. Notice when I go back to the customers here, I'm not going up top. I'm using the internal. I don't have to use this up top because QuickBooks basically has all of the navigations within the website. So then we're going to say, let's do another one and look for the open invoices again, open invoices. This time we want Eric music. Let's go into Eric music. And so we can see we have an open invoice. Very easy to see. Uh, due in 32 days. Okay. So I could make the receive payment here or let's make the form this time and do it that way. Drop down. We did an invoice. Let's do a receive payment. And then we'll just type in up top Eric music, Eric music tab. And then there it is, it populates down below. I'm just gonna tab through it. We want it on the 25th, that's good. It's gonna be a cash payment as well because we're gonna imagine taking these out of the undeposited funds and putting them in at one time or the payments to deposit it, formerly called undeposited funds until the, the QuickBooks wanted to change it, I think randomly, uh, just to change something. They could put it on the time, the time clock that, the, that they did something. Yeah, we were working on this, that, and the other thing. We had to change this, that, and we put it, we changed the account name from here to the other name. We build that out at like three, three months worth of work and whatnot. And so, you know, that's how it goes. That's why we have all these changes with QuickBooks Online, I think. But in any case, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's an improvement. Right? It's, it's a, they're going to get it perfect. Okay, there's the 30400 So it's a receive payment form. 
So what's that going to do? It's going to reduce accounts receivable. The other side's going to go into a cash account, in this case, not the checking account, to the payments to deposit account, and the subledger of accounts receivable will be also impacted, tracking it by customer. Let's save and close it and check that one out. Go into the balance sheet. Get it right this time. It did not go into the checking account. See, I'm st- I've got my head in the game. My head is in the game. All right, and then we're down here. Eric Music, there it is. It's a payment form. Looks good. Let's go back the other side, reducing the A to the R. The R, we've collected it, collected on it, and we we didn't have to steal their car or their, you know, all their Tylenol off of their porch for the last month to pay off the guitar bill. So that's nice. But even if we did, at least they, we, they owed us the money this time. So we put our pirating skills to actually good use collecting that debt. But in any case, if I go to the sub ledger and I run the report or pop, or the pill popping klepto, we put our pill popping klepto skills to work for good that time. Uh, any case, so we have our two, we've got our two customers. We're at 12,757.50. That's the new balance. If I go back to the balance sheet, there's the 12,757.50 there as well. If I go to the internal forms and check that out, we can go into the all sales and we can we can say it's the, the paid items. So now we're in the paid items. We have Eric Music in here. We can look at it in the invoices. As we know, the paid items are what we look at, are looking at right now. There it is. If we go into the customers, then we can say recently paid customer and we're going to say recently paid eric music we can go into it we have a we have a beautiful uh image of what is happening we can see exactly what is going on here because uh these the everything is connected together so if i go into uh this one for example i can see the history of it if i view or edit it i can see the invoice here if I, and I can link to it, if I close it out, I can also take a look at the invoice. I forgot to look at what the invoice was, but it was this invoice of the other two are bills. You can see it's paid, haven't yet deposited it. And if I view the invoice by editing the invoice, you can see that it has been uh, paid in full. Very nice. Mui B, in, Mui B to the super cool and Mui super cool bn uh any case that wasn't that good of spanglish deals for the love of god mios do better okay uh what was i doing then oh also note that if you go to the deposit form up top if i go into the bank deposits now you can see that we these deposits